Hey everyone, how's it going out there? I hope you're doing well. As usual, I got some notes for today's video, and I want to uh, just kind of talk about the Constitution, the gun legislation that's coming up, possibly, and um, some things that are going on that are very strange indeed. And um, you know, just like a lot of a lot of people out there, I want to remind you of a couple of things before we get going. Let's keep our heads right now. Let's not let's not go crazy and make crazy YouTube videos and start yelling and screaming just yet. Um, I know there was one video put out that was a little bit over the top, probably probably taken in the wrong context. But you know, um, as we all know, they're all watching us. Uh, we're all on the red list, so we have to be careful. Choose our words carefully. Doesn't mean. We can't speak our minds like I'm doing now. It just means that we need to be careful and choose our words until the time comes to where other things have to be done. Now, there's a list of other things that could be done, um, but that's another video. But I want to talk about today the Constitution and how it's important to us as Americans and, and why we need to defend it. The First Amendment and the Second Amendment are in that order because they're in order of importance. The First Amendment is the voice of the Constitution. It allows you to have free speech and say basically whatever it is that you want. Without the Constitution having a voice, it means nothing. And the voice comes from we the people. Unfortunately, most people are watching Dancing with the Stars, American Idol, The Voice, the show, and The Bachelor right now, and they could give two shits about what's going on because they're just zoned into the TV and they don't understand anything about freedom or how to defend it. The Second Amendment is just that. It's the second most important amendment, and it's the one that defends the Constitution. The Second Amendment is about the right to bear arms and we all know that and the right to bear arms isn't just for hunting the right to bear arms is to have the exact same arms that the military has that's the way our forefathers set it up to have the exact same weapons that the the army the navy the air force and the marines have now i'm not saying weapons of mass destruction what i'm saying is, is small arms okay I'm not saying that I want a rocket launch or anything else like that. That's not what I'm saying. But when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat, our forefathers knew that we needed to have exactly what the military has. That's what the Second Amendment is about. It has nothing to do with hunting. The word hunting does not appear in the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is all about a tyrannical government, which is what we currently have right now. The guns are what protects the Constitution. The guns are what protects and preserves freedom. If the First Amendment doesn't work, let me move on to the Second Amendment, okay? And if the Second Amendment is restricted or has certain guidelines restricting its use, it loses its strength to defend the Constitution. If you lose the First and Second Amendment, the Constitution basically means nothing because the, the amendments are put in order of importance by our forefathers. And the tyrannical government that we currently have understands that. But something I want to point out that some of you may not know about is the Dick Act of 1902. Now, I'm going to have some brief verbiage of the Dick Act from 1902, but please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong or if I'm unclear on some of the definitions. Now, here's a Cliff Notes version of it, and like I said, if you want to add something to the video, leave a video response, or make sure you leave a comment in the bottom, because I'm not saying what I'm, what I, what I'm about to read is... 100% accurate, but I know it's it's at least 95% accurate at least. But there could be some variation that I'm not aware of, but here's the Dick Act of 1902. 
The Dick Act of 1902, also known as the, the Efficiency of Militia Bill, H.R. 11654, of June 28, 1902, invalidates all so-called gun control laws. It invalidates all so-called gun control laws. It also divides the militia into three distinct and separate entities. The three classes of H.R. 11654 provides for the organized militia, henceforth known as the National Guard of the State, Territory and District of Columbia, the unorganized militia, and the regular army. The militia encompasses every able-bodied male between the ages of 18 and 45. All members of the unorganized militia have the absolute personal right and Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms of any type and as many as they can afford to buy. The Dick Act of 1902 cannot be repealed. To do so would violate the Bill of Attainder and ex post facto laws, which would yet be another gross violation of the U.S. Constitution and the current Bill of Rights. The President of the United States has zero authority without violating the Constitution. That's where I stand, is with the Constitution. I am a known constitutionalist. We are in the fight of our life, people. We are. Our freedom is at stake. There's only one thing that comes before freedom, and that's God. Without freedom, you have no family, you have no home, you have no life. Ask the people in Europe, ask the people in Australia what happens after the guns are gone. Look at what happened with all the other leaders that did gun confiscations and what immediately followed after that. Let's keep our heads level right now. It's okay to do research and it's okay to speak out, but let's not lash out just yet. We need to build community. We need to be together as one. We need to build strength with each other. I've always preached community on my channel. And a lot of you people have been very reluctant to become in the community in real life other than meeting on YouTube and online and blogs and videos and all that other stuff. We need to meet up in real life. We need to build community. I've been stressing community for almost four years now.